Hi, and welcome to another episode of Live Photography with Mr. John. So today we are going to be talking about Pepper's Ghost and how you can utilize this in videos that you make or even in some interesting photography. So let's get started. All right, so what is Pepper's Ghost? Well, here I have a sample of what Pepper's Ghost could be. It is essentially a stage, and right now we have a subject on the stage that's lit. Um, in this case, we have a wizard, a little statue that I have. Now, as we watch, all of a sudden, we see ghostly apparitions of these scary little faces kind of rising up. Um, we'll even see some little stars that seem to completely surround the space that the wizard is in. And there is no digital trickery um, going on here. So how is this happening? All right, so to find out what's at work here, we need to look a little bit closer at what's going on with my little stage setup here. So I have the lights on in the room now, and we can see under the stage here that the wizard is there. Uh, we can also see that there is a tablet um, that's also underneath here as well. And when I press play on this, we all of a sudden see our ghostly apparitions that we had originally seen. And when I look up, we see them also projecting up here somehow. And that is because if you can kind of see where I have these little clothes hangers, there is a piece of glass that is between us and the wizard. So why is it called Pepper's Ghost? Well, in 1821, a scientist named John Henry Pepper is the one who came up with the illusion. In 1826, he kind of popularized this by doing a stage performance where people would sit in an audience and there would be an actor up on the stage um, doing something like maybe just walking around or writing at a desk by himself. And then all of a sudden, another actor would appear, but in a very ghostly form. And how this was done is that there was a secret room underneath the stage and through a cunning use of lighting, mirrors, and a piece of glass that separated the stage from the viewers, we were able to get the illusion that there was an actual ghost on the stage with the performer. And for the 1800s, this was a pretty effective illusion. It scared a lot of people. People really thought that ghosts were appearing. And we still see examples of Pepper's ghost today. If you've ever gone to Disneyland and have experienced the Haunted Mansion where there's a dining room scene and ghosts suddenly appear and there's little ghosts dancing around, this is Pepper's ghost. They're using the same technique, same thing with a big sheet of glass that separates the viewer from the stage, and they have hidden away little mannequins that are running, and when a light's shown on them, their reflection casts on that glass. We've even seen other examples of this in more modern times when it comes to uh, Tupac's resurrection at Coachella, where Snoop Dogg and um, Tupac were actually seen on stage performing with each other. They were using a more digitalized version of it, but they were still using Pepper's Ghost. Um, even during uh, 2014, they did this with Michael Jackson, where it looked like he was performing up on stage with a bunch of dancers. Pepper's Ghost. Even uh, a more modern trend of making uh, holograms using uh, your cell phone. Um, you make the little four-sided prism, put it on the center of your cell phone. You can click a video that you find online, and all of a sudden you have a hologram that looks like it's appearing um, in a three-dimensional space, when really, it's Pepper's ghost. So this illusion has been really impressive for hundreds of years. Again, we're talking way back in 1820s, and we're already in 2021. So 200 years ago, this illusion was first created, and 200 years later, we are still using it. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you learned something. Hope you give it a try. And until next time, take care.